everybody and welcome today we are going to do a very special tutorial that was created for our time jam it's a tutorial we like to call time fly to make this video as quick and simple as possible i'm just going to walk you through the instructions without stopping to read them all the first thing we need to do is give our frog a place to sit for that we're going to go to the scene category and grab a set background image to block that will let us create a background. Well, there's already a background that's been created for us. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. You can either use this from the gallery or there's a special one in my assets. Next, let's add a hero. From sprites, we'll grab set my sprite to sprite of kind player and choose our frog. This again is in my assets. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> Now we can take a look over at our simulator and see where the frog ends up and see if we like it. If we do, we can leave it. Or if we wanna move it, we can grab the position block, snap that into the bottom, and then move it using our little crosshair here or using numbers right in the field. So I'm gonna put the frog about right there. Love it. Okay, next, it's snack time. The frog needs something to eat. So we're gonna grab another set sprite block, put it in at the bottom here. Notice it's already got a different name than the first one. It's called My Sprite 2. So we'll go ahead and leave that. And now we need to have something for the frog to eat. In my assets, I've already drawn a fly and we can use that. Also, this isn't a player. The frog is the player. This is food. Now you probably noticed that the fly is kinda just sitting there. boring we are going to make this fly move around using a set sprite velocity block it's already set to 50 to 50 but if we want to make it a little more entertaining we can speed it up a little bit this is the speed in the x direction which is side to side and this is speed in the y direction which is up and down make sure you choose my sprite too, so that it's the right thing moving around. And there he goes. If we want to give the frog even a chance to catch that fly, we're going to need to keep the fly on the screen. So we will go into sprites and grab a bounce on wall block and snap it into the end of the container. Now again, we need to make sure that it's my sprite too, so that's referring to the fly and not to the frog. If you look in the simulator, you'll see that that looks a lot better. Now we need a way to catch the fly. We are going to try and get it so that when we press the A button, if the fly is over the frog, you win. So first we need this controller to say on A button pressed. Then we'll grab a little logic block and we'll drop that in there. We need to say if the fly is on top of the frog, and in order to do that, we are going to need to go to sprites. We'll grab a my sprite overlaps with other sprite. And instead of other sprite, we want my sprite too, which is our fly. If at any time you're getting confused by these names, you can go in and you can rename your variables so that my sprite is frog and my sprite too is fly or if you did something different, that your variable names represent your characters. In the meantime, we need to figure out what happens in the if and what happens in the else. So in the first case, if the fly is overlapping the frog, then we win. So we wanna grab a game block, grab game over lose, toggle to win. That case has been created. In the other case, if the fly is not overlapping the frog, then we need our player to lose a life. Great, now let's play it and see what happens. All right, back. Hey, I did it. Now we need to lose and see if our lose case succeeds. Oh, very nice. This is all well and good and it incorporates that time 
theme from the time jam, which is you've got to make sure your timing is correct so that you get the fly when it's over top of the frog. But let's add a little more of that time element, shall we? A sense of urgency. We can do that by including a countdown timer. For that, we'll go into info and we'll pull out a start countdown block. We want to put that in our on start container right there at the end. Now we have 10 seconds to catch the flag before the game ends in a loss. Can we do it? Oh, 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 oh. Yay! And that's it. We've got a game with a double dose of time that is fun to play, easy to make, and super rewarding. If you're gonna use this for your game jam project, try making some modifications. You could add a block to change the number of lives you start with. You could start with lots of flies and have one go away each time you miss. You could change the theme so it's not frogs and flies, or you could add animations. You could even do something that hasn't been mentioned here. If you finish by May 17th, 2021, you can go to aka.ms slash game jam to submit. Don't forget to click finish and publish your game so that you can share with family and friends. Until next time, happy coding. Mm -hmm.